Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to uh, Mrs. Stevenson being back. I am so happy to be back with you. And today we're going to jump right in, learning about a new artist named Henri Matisse. Matisse was an artist who came up with a very unique style of artwork using painted papers and a style of art called collage. So let's jump into that. When we take a look, we can see the map <clears throat> in front of us here. Matisse was born in France, which is in Europe, um, in 1869. So he was born a lot longer ago than we were. North America, where we are, all the way over here, just to give us some perspective as to where Matisse is from. When we take a look at some of his most famous artwork, he always wanted to kind of give us a story through his artwork. This piece of artwork called The Fall of Icarus that he completed in 1947 may sound familiar to some of us if they're interested in Greek mythology. This piece was finished when World War II was at its worst. And we know that during times of war, um, a lot of people can be harmed. And as artists, we have the opportunity to use our voice through our artwork about how we feel. So Henri wanted to show how fighting could destroy good ideas. The myth, which is a made-up story of Icarus was that he flew too close to the sun. So when we are thinking about how Henri felt about World War II, I think we can assume that he did not think fighting was a good thing. It basically destroyed good ideas in his mind. Underneath here, we have something called a positive and a negative space. When we are creating positive and negative space, we're cutting out shapes, and the shape that is cut out is the positive, and the negative is the nothing that is left out because um, if you think about cutting out a heart, taking the heart out, the negative space is the window that you can look through. He loved positive and negative shapes. When you take a look at these next two pictures, this shows Matisse very ill. He became sick and actually had to be in his bed pretty much for the rest of his life or in a wheelchair. That really kind of impacted his artwork in a powerful way. He wasn't able to do the same style, so he had to get creative. He came up with a way of creating drawings from his bed with this long stick. So in order for him to continue doing his artwork, he decided, well, I may not be able to do it the same way, but I'm still going to do it just different. So he started using cutout pieces of colored paper to make his pictures. There was actually a nun that helped him quite a bit um, paint different papers and then she would let him use the painted papers by cutting out the shapes to create his artwork. So when World War II was happening, Matisse became ill and he stayed in his bed for almost a year. I can't believe how um, hard that would be knowing that I was kind of bedridden with my knee, but definitely not for a year. So he's kind of a hero to Mrs. Stevenson because he never gave up. Even though he never became in great health, he always continued to do his artwork and he was an inventor. He came up with different ways to do it. This is one of the pieces that Henri created and Matisse wanted to show how life was enjoyable. So some of his paintings though showed sadness. This painting shows what an unhappy king sees. Sometimes we think kings and queens and royalty, they have so much wonderful things in life. But if you're the leader of an entire kingdom, that is a heavy burden 
to weigh on your shoulders. So he recognized that and used his cut painted papers to show a story of what a unhappy king may um, see. And to others, this might be bright and happy, but each symbol has a meaning behind it and everyone sees that differently. That's what's so cool about art. When we look at this picture of Matisse, he continued to work even though he was becoming very weak at the end of his life. One of the last pieces he was working on was a church window and he passed away November 3rd, 1954. This piece of artwork is called The Snail and it was done when he was at the end of his career. So a lot of my students are very surprised at a sophisticated, awesome artist. And then how is it just blocks of color? Well, he wanted to show that even with his style of artwork, he could make it look extremely real, but he wanted to use his style of cutting paper to make it simplified. When we look at these cut out paper pieces, he used his scissors with prepared sheets of painted paper and he came up with a new um, phrase that's supposed to be, it's a phase of his career, but it's also a new phrase. When we look at this, it's called painting with scissors. So what in the world? We know we can't paint with scissors, but we do know we can cut out things with scissors. So his style of painting cre that he was able to do in his bed was cutting out the different images and creating a collage with the painted papers. So this is one of Matisse's quotes. It says, only what I created after the illness constitutes my real self, free and liberated. So what that means, because there's some pretty big uh, vocabulary in there, constitutes, that means makes up. He thinks that his real powerful artwork wasn't really the best until he became ill. And that also is a very optimistic, positive way of viewing his life. When we look at some of these beautiful cutout papers, it inspired Mrs. Stevenson to come up with this next lesson. You're going to create a story similar to this piece, A Thousand and One Arabian Nights. This is a story that Matisse really thought was interesting. Scheherazade, right here. Scheherazade is a woman that married a king who was notorious, that means famous, for taking and beheading people, his wives in particular. So he was going to be taking Scheherazade as his wife, and she was going to be tricking him by telling him a story that was so interesting every single night that just before the sun would come up, he, she would end the story, but it wasn't the end of the story. She made the king so tired and so interested in the story that she was telling that he never, ever ended up harming her. So it took place in Arabia, and the story or myth, the made-up story, is that she survived a thousand and one nights. Every single night, she told a story all through the night that was so interesting to the king that it saved her life. When we look at these hearts, these black and green hearts, they are looking kind of not like full of love. If we think about color, if you have a black heart, that kind of to Mrs. Stevenson seems that you don't have a lot of love in your heart. Then by the end of the story, the king fell in love with the woman Scheherazade and lived happily ever after. So inside this, we read this picture from left to right like a story. This is a teapot because in Arabia they had teapots. 
but all of the other images, not everybody knows. So it's kind of up to the viewer to, de to decide what they see. What you guys are going to be doing, a free form or an organic shape is all these curly, swirly shapes. You can create geometric shapes, a heart, a circle, a square. You're going to be using cut paper to make a story. It could be a story from start to finish that is about you. You want to have at least four different spots to tell your story. And I think it's important to break up your story with different colored papers. If you want to balance, think of a seesaw. If you're on one side, I'm on another, you'd be way up high because I'm heavier. That wouldn't be balance. So you want to use balance through your design. Your shapes should use positive and negative. So this is the example of a negative shape because it's cut out and this is a window through. The positive shape are the shapes that you cut out and glue down as well. So you can see all of these shapes coming to life um, with the papers that you use. If you don't have colored paper at home, you may color the paper or paint paper and then cut it out the way that Matisse did too. The last target, we're going to create a border that goes around our story. So it should be something that has to do with the story you want to tell. Maybe you want to create a story about uh, your favorite video game. Maybe you want to create a story about how you uh, went to your favorite place on vacation. That is absolutely up to you. I am so excited for us to get started on our collage project and I know this video took a little bit of extra time so today for lesson one you're going to start brainstorming and then for lesson two I want you to think about how you can write your story that will go along with your visual story. It doesn't have to be a lengthy story, but maybe you're going to get so excited that you do make it very long. Whatever story you want to write is the story that I'm excited to hear. I'm so glad that I'm back, and I'm so excited to hear what you come up with. Take care. Bye-bye.